Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Asad Yaqub and I welcome you to my general training writing task 1 video on letter writing from second cup express highway murray. Well guys, uh, in this video I am going to differentiate formal versus informal. Let me tell you it is very important to understand the difference between formal and informal letter. Uh, if the letter is formal, you have to use the formal tone, formal language, formal uh, vocabulary, right, and formal uh, uh, the, the sentence structure. And if the letter is informal, you can write informal tone, informal uh, like contractions and all that. So I'm going to tell you there are po some points which are different for formal and semi uh, formal and informal. And actually, we've got some neutral phrase neutral words as well which you can use in formal or informal letters as well so let's take a start with informal letter the first thing is beginning whenever you start an informal letter you should start it with dear plus the first name of the person now for example my name is Asad Yaqub my name is Asad Yaqub my first name is Asad so you can start with dear Asad dear Asad. If I'm writing this like uh, Mustain to Mustain and his name is Mustain Asad. So I can start with dear Mustain comma. So this is the beginning or we also call it greetings or salutations. Next a friendly greeting. In the beginning of an informal letter it is very important to start it with an informal friendly greeting. That can be I hope this letter finds you well full stop. I hope this letter finds you well and then we've got full stop so this is a friendly greeting for informal letter. After that in informal letter you must use contractions instead of I am you should use I am instead of did not you should use didn't instead of could not you must use couldn't instead of there is you must use theirs because it is an informal letter. And the next one is you can ask some questions. If the letter is informal, you can even ask some questions. Do you remember? And then something with a question mark. Why don't you? And then something with a question mark. And this should be there in a formal, uh, in an informal letter because it's informal tone. So you can ask some questions. Next, there should be exclamation. Very, very important point. In informal letters, there should be some exclamatory sentences with a sign of exclamation like earlier, then I thought it was and then. For example, the coffee you offered me there was fantastic and then there is a sign of exclamation. So in informal letter, there must be a couple of sentences with sign of exclamation means exclamatory sentences. Then there must be linking words like well, anyway, so and therefore. So these are the linking words. So in informal letter, you can use the linking words like well, anyway, so. So these linking words should not be used like well, anyway, so in formal letter. Then there are the phrases like we had a great time, had a great time is informal phrase, couldn't have asked for, couldn't have asked for, it's an informal phrase, working flat out, now this is also a casual phrase, back to normal, it's again a formal phrase, uh, it's again an informal phrase you can use in an informal letter and ending there should be a sentence like hope to see you soon plus first name, for example hope to see you soon Asad. Hope to see you soon, Adeen. Hope to see you soon, uh, Mavish, like that, okay? And then you can just close that. So this is what you must use in informal letter. Now let's go on to formal letter. I tell you what should be there and then you guys can easily differentiate what should and shouldn't be used in formal letter. The beginning of formal letter should be with dear sir or madam and then there should be a question uh, there should be a comma dear sir or madam because you don't know the name of the recipient you don't know the gender of the recipient that's why it's a good idea to start it with like dear sir or madam and then comma and sir s capital madam m capital next no greetings necessary in a formal letter you don't need any greetings in informal letter you started with a friendly greeting i hope this letter finds you well but in formal letter you don't need anything like that 
no contractions in formal letter i am not i am did not not didn't and all that next normally avoid direct questions i would like instead of can i have now instead of asking a direct question it's better to uh, to ask in a very polite way like can i have and then something you can ask so you need to avoid direct questions i would like uh, for example i would like you to offer me uh, the reimbursement of this instead of that you can say can i have can i have my money back can i have this and there and all that stuff next no exclamation marks in formal letters right in informal letter there must be a couple of exclamatory sentences with exclamation mark but in in informal letters not like that if i confuse formal with informal please correct me linking now in formal letters i'm saying in formal letters the linking must be like however consequently and but in informal letter you can write well then you can write anyway and all that stuff next the phrases and vocabulary which you must use in uh, formal letters when i say informal it's not informal i'm saying in formal letters that is with regard to with regard to means about a plans instead of writing the word like gadget or machine you can use the word a plans it was installed instead of writing it was fixed it was fixed is informal it was installed the following day instead of writing uh, next day tomorrow you can write the following day failed to okay and uh, instead of writing didn't you can write failed to for example he didn't answer you can write he failed to answer if you say he didn't reply my query instead of that you can write he failed to so try not to use did not in formal letter instead of that you can write failed to procedure uh, instead of process you can use the word procedure he assured me he assured me report the issue inform about the issue is informal you can write report the issue or reported the issue contacted instead of saying i called you should say contacted that is formal under warranty under warranty i am entitled to now this is a very formal sentence i am entitled to uh, replacement instead of saying give me another camera so you can write give me the replacement of this camera or i need a replacement machine phone me personally phone me personally is better than saying call me personally and ending is i await your prompt response yours faithfully plus your full name you're going to write like my full name is asad yakub so i will write asad yakub there now remember both letters also contain some neutral vocabulary neutral vocabulary means the words which can be used in formal or informal letters that can be used in any type of letters for example words like hosts deadline assignment they are highlighted because they could be used in both formal and informal context as well thank you very much guys if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my this channel and click the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you should be the first one to watch and comment my video i also teach ielts online if you want to join my online ielts classes my whatsapp number is given you can contact me for that asad yakub wishes you all the best from second cup express highway murray take good care of yourselves and if you ever visit murray you must visit this wonderful place and you are going to enjoy their coffee very much take care allah hafiz